What's up, everybody? Well, I got another Steam Deck OLED gameplay video for you guys today, and today we're going to attempt to play Dragon's Dogma 2. Now, I already tried Horizon Forbidden West on this thing, and that did not really go well. But this game looks like it would be easier to run, but looks can be deceiving. So, I'm very interested to see, A, if the game even launches. A lot of times games like this are just be like, nope, I refuse to launch, I'm not even gonna launch. Or they'll launch, get you through the setting screen, you try to get into the game, and then it's like, haha, just kidding, made you look. You thought you were gonna get some gameplay footage, ha <laughs> ha but not today. But anyway, so let's stop blabbing. Let's get this thing hooked up to the capture computer and let's go see if it's even willing to start. And if it does, what settings work, if any, it might be just like Horizon uh, Forbidden West, where even if you put everything down on low, you're still dropping down in the 20s all the time. So let's go find out. Well, all right, here we go. Well, if the 14 FPS that we're getting in this menu is anything to go by, I don't think we're going to have very much fun. But here's the settings I tried to play the game with. The keyword here is tried. And unfortunately... This is just not happening on the Steam Deck. Not right now, anyway, but I think this is one of those games that's probably just going to, even if they update it and do a bunch of stuff, it's probably not ever going to get us, like, 30 FPS on this thing. But hey, if they do, I'll come back and test it. But for now, let me go show you what I mean. All right, well, here we are. Very beginning of the game. Pretty much just got let out of my cage. And we are in a cave, which we all know gets you usually more FPS than being outside, but... This one, since it's a very CPU-intensive game, when NPCs are around, this might be because there's so many NPCs in this place. But still, there's going to be NPCs in towns, so this is the FPS you're going to get in town. And even if you were to get out of here, I kind of found a spot to go where there's not so many people. It still barely is able to hit, like, 18 FPS. And that's staring at an ocean with nothing going on. But, yeah. I figured this wasn't going to go well from that menu. Well, just by reading the specs of this thing. This Steam Deck is so far beyond the minimum of specs of this game, it's not even funny. But I still thought I'd try it anyway, because I figured there were going to be some people that are like, hey, does it work on the Steam Deck? The answer? No. Not one bit. Hell, this game has trouble working on, like, any computer. Unless you have top of the line. Even my $3,000 Alienware can't keep this game at 60 FPS. It takes my desktop, well, my secondary desktop. De Nuvo screwed me over, so I wasn't able to finish my main computer. Uh, dog, uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 video, so I'll have to wait until tomorrow at 6.05 or afterwards to try again. So I don't know how that one will do, but at least my secondary computer was able to stay 60, maxed out, even with ray tracing. So that was a surprise. But this might be one of those games that really likes that 3 dv cache. I really wanted to test the 13 hour KF too, but I'll have to wait till tomorrow. Yep, I can't see nothing. Do your injuries pain you? Pray, do not over- This is no place for one of your ilk. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed. Okay. But all right, let's go move on to some camera recorded gameplay just to show you guys the HDR and everything. It's still going to be absolutely terrible and unplayable, though. All right, well, even though we're still getting horrible FPS and this is terrible and completely unplayable, I just wanted to at least be able to see where I was going and see if unplugging it from the capture computer somehow fixed it, but no. I figured it was just the Steam Deck's still a little too weak for this one. Because I don't know too many people that want to play a game at 10 to 11 FPS. That doesn't sound like a good time. And it sucks too, because again, with the HDR screen, it's all nice and vibrant. It's a shame you uh, can't get a playable FPS with it, though. And this is only in this small little area. I'm sure there's way harder to run places than this. I'm just going to try running out here real quick. They'll probably yell at me and be like, oh my god, a slave's escaping. Hmm. It actually gets a little bit easier to run when you get outside of the city a little bit, but 18 FPS, 19 FPS still ain't playable, unfortunately. But yeah, I figure you can't go anywhere out out that way. So that's why no one came after us, because they know we can't escape. Yep, and then you go back into town and you're back to 10 FPS again. To a 
would be unwise to disobey. The overseer will. All right, though, this is absolutely horrible and almost nauseating to play at this kind of FPS. So I think uh, we've gotten plenty of footage to prove this game does not work on this system, at least not at this point. I just don't think it ever will. It's a little bit too weak of a system to play a game, AAA games like this. But in any case, let's go wrap this video on up. Well, all right, guys, that's a wrap for Dragon's Dogma 2 on the Steam Deck OLED. And yeah, it's just not happening on this system. This runs even worse than Horizon Zero or Forbidden West. I was expecting this should probably be a little easier to run, but man, I was wrong. You could almost sort of somewhat play Forbidden West. It still wasn't what I would consider playable, but it was like 20 to, you know, 40 FPS. This is like 9, 10 in the city. And if you get out of the city, it looks like you might be able to, in some spots, touch, touch 20 FPS, but that's way too freaking low I think for anybody and I don't think any amount of tinkering or anything will, is gonna magically get us up to that 30 FPS number even if I put FSR all the way down to ultra performance I don't think we would have hit it at least not in town and you're gonna spend time in towns in this game so I wouldn't want to go hey I'm getting like barely 30 FPS out here looking like an N64 game and then go into town oh damn it now I'm back down to like 10 FPS again son of a bitch so I'm just calling this not playable wouldn't waste your time if this is your only way to play PC games get it get it on another system System if you happen to have one but if you've got another PC or whatever you know just play it on that and then if you do want to game on your Steam Deck just screen share it to the Steam Deck from your your other better computer that's what I would do in this situation but in any case though that's a shame as it may be this is one of the problems with the Steam Deck it unfortunately cannot play AAA titles so well and they're just gonna keep getting harder and harder to run so I don't see this problem you know going away but I didn't get mine to play AAA titles so that's a moot point for me but I know some people want it to be an all-arounder and it's just not going to be able to do everything unfortunately but as long as you know what you're getting into it's still a fucking fantastic handheld and i'm still happy with it because i play mostly indies and like old games on it and it does great at those but anyway i'm just blabbing here why don't we go ahead and wrap this video up so i can go try this on the ally i'm not expecting it to even run very well on that either i think i'm probably just going to skip 1080p and 900p and just move right to 720p everything on low and probably even have to use fsr and maybe we can get like 30 fps on that thing maybe but anyway well, let's wrap this video up so i can go find out so i hope you guys enjoyed the video even though the system failed to play the game at least you guys got to see it so you won't waste your time on it and that's the whole point on the of these videos so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and until the next one peace out guys